Hey everyone, it's JoJo and welcome to a Beyblade Burst unboxing and review. Today I have two of the digital control kits. Genesis Valtric V3 and Fafnir F3. So before I begin this video, I want to say thank you so much to Hasbro for sending these to me. Uh, you guys are awesome and I'm also kind of sorry for making this two months later. I'm so late on this. But anyway, I have them here. So we got two of them. Again, Valtric and Fafnir. You can control the Beyblades with your smartphone. Um, so you download an app on your phone, you control it via Bluetooth on your phone. And yeah, so let's take a look at the back of each packaging. It's pretty much the same, just a little bit different graphics because of the different Beyblades. Um, so number one up here, it says place device on a battle platform. So there's like a little, um, like a little stand or a holder for your phone. Number two, launch with command launcher, which is just your regular launcher, but a little bit different for this one. And number three, it says control your top in battle. All right, here we have the side view of each one, one for um, Valtrek, one for Fafnir. And on the top, you can see a little bit of the um, controls you have for each of the RC Beyblades. So you could reverse the spin, you could speed boost, and there is also attack mode. I'll be demonstrating for both of these. There won't be a battle in here because obviously I don't have two phones. I'll have to do a separate battle with these Beyblades. Uh, but yeah, let's get to unboxing. I really want to start off with Fafnir F3 first. All right, so on the back we have the instructions, which I'll take a look and explain later. But for now, I'm just gonna give my first impressions of what I see in the packaging. All right, so we got your ripcord looks pretty standard, the length at least. So this looks like the device you put your phone on. And again, I'll have to look at the instructions to see how to do that. And there's like a, yeah, <laughs> like a hinge there. Here is the launcher. Oh, it looks pretty neat. I really like the size of this launcher. Sorry, you guys can't see that. I really like the size of this launcher. It's a much bigger than, um, even like, I think even longer or bigger than the Super Grip launcher. And it's a little bit wider. And yeah, it's got nice placement for your thumbs here. And it is dual spin. So for Fafnir, of course, it'll be in the left spin. Alright, here we have the energy layer Fafnir, and it looks just like any normal energy layer. It's got rubber up here, just different colors. And there is a QR code for you guys to scan. So you'll get this in the app. There's the forge disc. And it's supposed to look like eight. There's like mini eights all around. And here we have the performance tip or the base. This is where all the electronics are. You can see that inside there. And this really reminds me of like the light up action Beyblades, but it's all um, electronics, more electronics in there so you could battle them um, using your phone as a controller. All right, so let's get Valtriac open and also go over the instructions to teach you how to use the RC Beyblades. All right, let's continue with Genesis Valtriac. Here's the energy layer. I really love this color of Valtriac for some reason. It just looks really, really clean. And here is the code so you guys could also grab that and get it for your app. And it is just like a regular energy layer. It's got the same gimmick, the springs in there. So you could use it for not just the RC Beyblades, but for anything. And here we have the Forge Disc, again, very reminiscent of the electronic Beyblades with the lights. Same goes for the base or the performance tip. Very bulky, a little bit heavier than the regular light up action one because it's got, you know, batteries and more stuff to it. But yeah, um, you could kind of tell that it's, um, well, it was blinking earlier, if you guys noticed, but um, it was because it was already connected to my phone, which I'll demonstrate. Um, in a little bit, um, but to connect it, you have to push this button down. The basically the tip, push it down so that it could your phone could sense it, and it will be connected to your app. So let's put this together real quick. I believe it goes down this way, and it just you know put goes on just like any other Beyblade. 
Here we have Genesis Valtriac. RC. If you guys didn't catch it at first, here's the code again for Fafnir. Again, just very much like any other layer. And another look at the disc and the base. And there is a little bit of a different design in each of the base, which I'll go over. I mean, the tips are pretty much the same, but you can see that Valtriac has that triangle pattern in there and Fafnir has the star in there. All right, so before I want to like, you know, connect to my phone, I want to talk about the launcher because I think this is kind of really cool. I don't know why I'm more excited about the launcher than anything else. Um, the grip is really good. It's both rotations and you could just use any other rip cord in there. And another cool thing about that is, well, let's bring out the uh, Valtriac one. I didn't show that to you. So this one is blue. It's got the same patterns, the same like honeycomb or hive patterns on it. But you could use this to hold your Beyblade. So let's grab a Valtriac. So basically you put it on top and you close this up. And there are these two little, I don't know what you call these, little hooks, which go into here. If I could get that in there, there you go. And it sl just slides in, you should hear it click. And it holds your Beyblade so you could take it with you. You could also take your ripcord. There's a little uh, thing right here. You just put it in the hole and loop it around. And there's another slot there where you just put your ripcord in. And yeah, it's, <laughs> I think that's really cool for some reason. Like, I don't know why I've always, like since MFB, I've always wanted a launcher that could hold, like store your Beyblade as well. You know, it's serving two purposes rather than just launching your Beyblade. Um, but it does also kind of work for normal size. You could see that the um, base is really large, so it, it might not hold Beyblades that are smaller, like basically from the ones from single layers. But I think if you have a frame, we got Roctivore here. I think if you have a frame, it should hold just fine. It'll dangle a little bit, but I think it should be just fine. Yeah, that's not really going anywhere because it's held by the prongs and there's something, um, these two other prongs down here. I mean, yeah, again, it is wobbling a little bit, but I don't, I highly doubt that's gonna, um, you know, fall off without um, a large amount of force. So let's take this out. And another demonstration, this is Takara Tomy. No frame, but a larger layer. Throw this on. I don't know why I'm so excited about this. It's like, it's so cool. So this one dangles a little bit, but it does catch. You can see that's coming off the hooks or the prongs, but the hooks aren't really, you know, catching it. It does fall off completely, and you could just kind of wiggle it there. But I think if you have a frame, I think you should be okay. Um, more secure than without a frame. But yeah, I think that's a really cool feature. <laughs> All right, so let's connect. Dream Fafnir to my phone, which um, I've technically I've already done, but it's it's just really easy. All you have to do is scan um, the, the the energy layer, and the RC battle option should already be up there. And to connect, you basically hold this down until it flashes, and searching for Beyblade. Also make sure your Bluetooth is on on your device. Oh, okay. So I have to um, disconnect. Okay. Okay. There we go. <laughs> so I have to disconnect Valkyrie or Valtriac from my phone before I can start using um, Fafnir. All right. So there it goes lighting up. There we go. It's connected so easy, and you can see the options right here. And let's get Fafnir. So when you start that, basically it says get ready. Launch your, or attach your Beyblade to your launcher. And, and go. So I don't have the stadium right now, I just want to show you the, the mechanics of the tip. You can kind of hear it. 
Yeah, it's spinning right now. I'm holding it up closer to the mic. But yeah, um, so that's pretty much it. And you can go back and restart the whole thing. All right, so I'm going to do a demonstration right after this. All right, so for this demonstration, I'm actually going to be switching to the Takara Tomy LR Bay Launcher because it's stronger. Um, it lasts longer. Uh, the, the other, the normal Hasbro launcher, it just kind of, you know, it doesn't last as long. It's not as powerful, honestly, and I'm sorry. But anyway, um, we're going to start off with Drain Fafnir, and I don't know how I'm going to show my phone on this, but uh, I'll do my best. All right, so it says get ready. Put the launcher in, or put the Beyblade in. It's kind of like a little clunky. I feel like it's a little clunky just because like I got to put the launcher down and then pick up my phone. But uh, let's try it out. Three, two, one. Oh, I should wait. Get ready. All right. <laughs> Three, two, one. Let it. Hit. All right. So that's just by itself. And let's spin it to the left. It's getting faster. All right. And then to the right. You can see it's slowing down because it's going opposite. Now it's going opposite. So if you spin it, it's opposite spin. It's going to lose balance, but here's back to its normal left spinning mode. And it's going crazy. And I didn't demonstrate the, um, the attack. So let's play again. All right, let's attach. And let's straight away, let's build up speed and attack. Avatar attack, and it's not doing much. <laughs> Build up more speed. That goes pretty fast. It's supposed to move in like this crazy pattern, like that. And it says that the round is complete. All right, it is Valtriex turn three. Two, one, let it. There it goes. That's the speed boost right there. And the avatar attack. Let's try and give it more of a boost. And another avatar attack. There you go. Better movement there. Let's do it one more time. I didn't feel like we got a, a lot of movement, not like drink back near. Three, two, one, let it. before I use the avatar attack. And there it goes. <laughs> it's like spinning on its side. <laughs> it's so unbalanced. Overall, I think Fafnir F3 is better than um, Genesis Voucher because it's more stable. It, I feel like it spins a lot better. Um, a, a cool thing about this is that you could use energy, um, any other energy layer from the Hasbro line. I think a downside I would say about these RC Beyblades is that the tips are exactly the same. So there's really not much difference in uh, movement or patterns. And it's just kind of clunky a little bit to have to launch your Beyblade, put it down, and then pick up your phone and, um, and then control it with your phone. I really would have much liked if the launcher was just the, the remote control, you know, um, like the MFB ones. I really liked that one, even though it's not like a string launcher, so it's not going to have a huge, um, a lot of amount of power, but um, it still was more powerful than 
the um, Beyblade Burst ones because, you know, they're made out of metal, so they're going to have a lot more velocity to them. And some of the rip cords were, a, uh, some, some of them were longer, I believe. But at the very least, with these launchers, you can combine the device stand and the launcher together so that you can hold your Beyblade in the prongs. I don't know why that's like the best thing about this, um, but it's probably not worth getting just for this. I kind of wish Hasbro would make launch launchers just, just launchers like this. I think that's just a really, really cool idea. It's just something I've always wanted since MFB. Like if you have a favorite Beyblade you want to carry around with you, or if you want to prepare yourself for a battle on the streets. <laughs> I know that's ridiculous, but still. It's just a cool feature to have on this launcher. <laughs> that's like my favorite part of this whole uh, kit. All right, so what do you guys think so far? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time with more. See you soon.